What's up folks, today we're back with a very interesting video. Interesting in the fact that I've also wanted to know the outcome of this video myself for quite some time now. And that's going to be if you can build a website completely using AI, that's the wording, the images, planning, any custom HTML or coding that we need to do, hopefully we can get AI to help us with that. However, one of the more interesting things that I want to find out about this, and I'm sure you do too, is how it will do with search engines. For a long time now, and I'll be honest, we've even advised not to use just AI written content. Google is advised against it, other search engines are advised against using just AI content. You even have certain warnings on stuff like TikTok and YouTube, whether you've used AI content to let them know. So it'd be quite interesting to see if you can build a complete blog using AI content, use AI to complete the blogs, the posts, everything that's written on there, and see if we can gain any traction on the web. So in this video, we're primarily going to be looking at getting it started. Let's get the website up or let's get the blog up. Let's get a bit of design on it and then let's start posting using AI. So I'm hoping this goes well this is completely unscripted it's completely unplanned i don't know the outcome myself it could completely not work you know i know that chat gpt has got some good coding areas however some just don't work some might ruin the site so let's see how it goes so let's get started and really what we're going to start with is chat gpt and of course our hosting our domain we're going to get that in a minute but let's do some research first i'm going to be using the web browser part of chat gpt now if you are wondering this is the paid version it's around 20 pounds per month I'm assuming much less than a web designer or somebody else that could help me with this. So I'm going to ask it to research the web and try and see if there's any blog domains available that it can't find. Now I can immediately see that this is not very helpful and this is exactly not what I've asked it to. It's basically telling me what I can do. Now I know what I can do. I'm trying to save time by using you. Let's try another tactic. There we go. Hopefully that will now guide it a little bit better. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to ask it for some ideas or some domains. Then what we can do is ask it to research the ideas that it's given me. Now switch the web to see if these are currently being used. Let's see if we can go about with that way. It's not playing ball today, is it? Are you even able to check out websites online? What kind of madness is this? You're called the web browser. Now I feel that I'm immediately getting into an argument with this AI. And I think for the benefit of this video, let's call him Bob. Bob does not seem to be getting the idea. This has made me very sad. However, what is not very sad is that I'll quickly go check him on Seekhost, which I'll be doing right now. Now, let's be really like out there with this. We're not gonna hide that it's an AI blog. This is a true AI blog, and we want it to be called an AI blog. Let's see if it's gonna work. Now I'm gonna start with AI blog writer. I'm going to assume that this is taken. Of course, as the AI boom happened, everybody wanted AI everything. Wondering if I just search AI.com, what suggestions it might give me. The AI24.com, now, I'm, I like that a little. AI to go, is that, does that make sense? Is it a boomer thing? My AI to go, I love it. Add to cart, let's go ahead and check that bad boy out. So let's go to next the fact that we sort of almost failed on the first hurdle there which is I couldn't even get AI to realistically search and find the domain that I wanted it was actually much easier just to come and do it myself I don't think there's really an AI that can start your hosting but that doesn't take very long plug to the company especially using seeker host the very cheap WordPress plans let's go through how to do that I'm gonna swing on over to create a new WordPress site what shall my blog title be an AI blog. I'm I'm really gonna you know really gonna set the precedent of this being an AI blog. I really want to see how it does with search engines. Whether they even bother indexing it. Whether they show the articles to anybody because they're gonna be AI written. I, I really want to know. So you know we're gonna go AI everything for this. And there we go. We have our website almost up now. As that is loading, let's talk about what we're gonna do for the design and other aspects of the website. As previously mentioned, everything is going to be created with AI. It's going to be talking about AI. It's going to be dreaming about AI. Me and Bob are going to make this the best site. Talking about Bob, what about our previous useless interaction? Can you send attachments to Bob? I'm going to send it an image. Okay. Do you know what this is? Are they? What? When does it, how, how has it started to recognize images? It just described what my image is. So I'm actually in slight shock at the moment. I didn't think we were at that level of AI. Wow, 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 incredible. I'm gonna put my seat a little bit. There we go, I might appear super short now, but I, I just realized in the camera shot, I'm a little tall, a little tall up there. 
These are excellent suggestions it's giving me. I mean, we even have monetization methods. If that's a goal, why not? Why wouldn't it be a goal? I mean, I'm going to be super lazy here. Can you fill in the information as if you were me and wanted to make this a super popular blog about AI topics? Demystifying AI for the everyday user. Top resource for all AI enthusiasts. I love it. So whilst that is doing the hard work, which I uh, don't have to go ahead and plan now, let's go back to the WordPress site. We need an SSL certificate. We don't want to be an unsecure website because when you go on there it says you're not on a secure website it doesn't look very good and I'm gonna head over to my SSL let's activate that bad boy yeah, that was that was quick wasn't it was it not, not, not very quick to get a website up like I know I've been doing it for years but I think that was that was very streamlined back to mr. plan I like the fact that it's telling me to go for something like Astra or Neve um, because they're SEO friendly and very customizable I love Astra this is excellent it, just excellent I've just got everything right here in fact we probably better save this conversation and you know not chat over it I'm trying to think to what extent we can use the AI with obviously we you have to do some design we can't do it can't do it all can it so now we've used AI to to basically create our entire plan for this blog now let's jump over to the blog itself I mean, don't you just love a fresh new blog? I don't know about you, but when I see this screen, I just see creativeness, I see new something. First on the list, and what it told us to do is install Astra, because, you know, themes are... They're a bit funny duddy quick tip for anybody using Astra is that you have to click customize it will then put up the Astra page this doesn't show at first however it gets uh, created once you click customize on the top here in fact I'll show you once you click customize there that's when this gets created so it does give you some sort of template and another thing is that I just I need elemental I'm just I'm not going to build without elemental let's get some proper page builders on here some proper things you know what we're going to get essential add-ons as well just some proper tools it's so one thing that i think is going to save us a lot of time and isn't quite ai but it's using templately so we can simply use a template oh look at that unlock the power of ai i can generate containers using text or any website reference very happy to hear this and how how build with ai oh this is terrific connect yes please let's see what we can do without going pro thinking you I mean, know that's that's pretty much what i asked for let's go for it oh ai is something else isn't it now let's use ChatGPT to create these bits although mind you i think we've got yeah edit with ai however ChatGPT knows what we're doing so let's get the written bits for us we want a nice heading for the home page we want a subheading for the home page so if you see me squinting quite a lot it's because i don't have my glasses on let's get these bits written in now i feel that that's a little bit long dive into the revolution of my ai to go your compass in the ever-evolving landscape da -da -da, da -da -da. can you make the description shorter well that's very short but very to the point move that over a little bit we sort of want to be a bit more like that move the height up a little bit that's way too high now let's get a beautiful dali created image now i like them but i'm thinking i, I need more of a bot like you know we need to sort of represent this site with somebody essentially bob the ai bot let's add an ai bot to the picture i'm not gonna lie i think we're going quite well so far i did not realize that we we're going to get that with elementor that it can design for you with ai so we, we will truly have an ai website there we go that's bob i think we should make him a little bit quirky ah <laughs> that's bob he's got a bow tie he's got a red bow tie i don't that's like bob on steroids but this this is bob i'm gonna keep this conversation so hopefully what we can do is we can then use bob over and over again i like it a lot round this off a little bit i think it's a little bit too square for bob so let's see if we can do this much i want a three section area now so you know maybe three different categories of our blogs that people can quick and easy click to and go to let's see if it gets what i'm saying I don't really like that. I, I don't, I'm not going to lie, I don't like that. Is it going to get it this time? Not really, but I have a feeling that what I can now do is I can now move it like this, then go ahead and duplicate it. Duplicate it one more time. Delete this little ridiculous area. <laughs> Let's get rid of the other little bits that we don't need either. Beautiful. That, that was you know, sort of AI done with a little bit of intuition. I'm wondering whether we should keep a little bit with a red vibe here, maybe make a bit of a background or something, maybe keep it a little bit red. That's quite red. And potentially we could have it red with white writing, that might actually look quite good. Something like that, perhaps? Yeah, yeah something like that. 
With all that excitement, I had to have a little break. I had some very spicy noodles, so my face is a little red. And also I have red on the screen, in case you were wondering. Either way, I've changed this, so we've now got white writing on red. I think I like it. I'm pretty happy. However, we now need to choose what our three best categories are, are probably going to be and get some images. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's come with an explanation as well. Let's get these bad boys on the website. Let's get descriptions written properly as well. I mean, we're going full on with this AI writing. I'm really not going. I don't want to write anything. That's basically the idea. I don't want to write anything on this block. I mean, that's starting to come together quite nicely already. Let's get some nice images here for the categories as well. After realizing that I can now upload images and it seems to be able to detect them, I'm going to ask them specifically to add this guy so Bob the AI guy with three pictures for the categories. I hope I'm not as blue as the screen is showing me right now I've turned into some sort of blue smurf. Very nice we have uh, we have our written bits we have the categories there don't like the free consultation let's change that. Let's see like a nice easy read more option. So we need a nice looking information box I'm going to ask it for a nice looking information box let's see what it comes up with I mean this is pretty standard to have a information box I just want to see what it does. So we've actually come quite a long way with this. We, we've got the main top bit of the content out, the header, probably fix up a few buttons. We've got the three main categories that the blog is going to be. We've got the main section here, which sort of explains what the blog is, who it's for. Just a quick run through the FAQ section, and then we're, we've pretty much just got to create the blog. It's been that easy to create this entire blog using AI. Now, as mentioned at the start, one of the interesting things that I want to do here is sort of find out how the AI blog is going to do especially because the news is coming out more and more how Google is really not looking for AI stuff or AI written stuff. Are you still able to make a blog that can potentially do well on the internet? I like the FAQs, it's coming out nice. I mean, it is sort of assuming certain stuff like how often will we post it saying twice a week. Now it literally doesn't know that. But I'm liking the, the, the FAQs. I'm going to take some of them and let's put them on the side. Just really like Bob. Bob has he's very aesthetically nice for this site, I've got to say. Now with a quick check, I'm, I'm pretty certain that everything is done on this this page even the buttons everything like that oh okay we don't have a shop now we'll fix that in a minute all our FAQs are done with answers I realize we're gonna need a contact us page as well as a blog so let's see how quickly and easily we can just set one of them up new page contact us Use the handy little build with AI widget and we need to contact us page simple right I wonder if it can do whole pages I'm going to assume that it's got to really be section by section rather than pages would you look at that I mean I'm, I'm we're not there don't know why we would be, why we would be in two separate places. Let's change it so we need a contact us page with a contact form. Let's see if this sort of makes it a little bit more of what we need. Uh, see, Elemental Pro has the widget form. So let's go for something like this. We use the layout and then we can simply just, you know, pop a form in there. Much I like this, I don't really need it. So what would actually be cool is to have some sort of AI bot that they can chat to on here. Now we don't have all the time in the world. I'm going to put chat bot coming soon. It will have to do for now. In fact, let's get a picture of Bob on the call, you know, sort of like customer service. I think that will suit the page quite well. As long as it works. I really am surprised how it's able to get a picture, you know, from a picture, find out what it is and then put an output from it. <laughs> Amazing. So I'm going to go with this guy here because he's also got a top hat and the feather. What's this little layout thing? I don't normally see this. So let's round this picture up a little bit more. And we have our contact us page. I know it's not very good. You can't actually contact us. But eventually let's add an AI bot that you can chat to. That'll be quite fun. Logo. That's where we got stuck last time. I had a bit of a technical hiccup. I'm not going to lie. Oh God, we're still stuck here. Didn't even create the logo. Can you please create the logo? Seems to want to have more chats with me than just make the logo. It's also making assumptions such as what the typography is. Oh, there we go. 
I mean, I don't love it. It's also misspelt the my AI to go. And it clearly knows that it's MY. So I'm going to remind you that it's missed out the Y. I swear, AI has always had a problem with the, the, the lettering. It just can't seem to figure it out properly. Okay, we're just, <laughs> just completely taken out the lettering. That will do. We're on a time scale here. Let's get customizing. We sort of just have to finish up our menu now. We've got to put the logo on. Um, we've got to put the blog page on. Create a couple of blog posts and we're, and we're done. So let's get rid of this Astra. Make it a nice little correct size. Let's do that for the site logo as well. Or well, identity, sorry. Site identity. You know, the little bit that pops up on the Google there. Now let's finish up with the menu. Well, let's get rid of all of these pages. They're just uh, like a template page that you get when you first install the theme. We need none of them. Right from, we're going to need home, we're going to need contact us, and we need to add a new page, which is going to be our blog. So let's just create the page. Easy peasy. Very nice, nice, simple little menu there. We're going to need a few categories of the blog, so let's go ahead and do that now. If we head back to our menu, all we've got to do is go to primary, and I'm going to add some of the categories. Let's put them under blog over here. So it appears I need to make a couple of changes. That's better. Cheeky little menu now. We can see what we want. Obviously, we don't actually have anything on these pages. It's all set up. I mean, we, we have practically, we have made the entire website now using AI. Just to finish up, I've just got to make some of these uh, buttons connect to the right pages. I'm going to write three blog posts using AI. Then it's time to see how everything works. To do that, we're going to install a plugin. In fact, let's do that right now. And it's going to be a simple one. We don't need Google Fan Analytics for this sort of stuff. We're just going to install Coco um, Analytics. It's simple, easy, plug and play. We can just simply see how many people are visiting the site and where they're coming from, therefore allowing us to see whether Google is actually sending people. Anyway, back to the question here. I'm going to spend a couple of minutes here just basically going to ChatGPT. We're going to ask it for um, a certain amount of blog posts. I won't bore you with the waiting. We'll be back in just a second once they're all written. So guys, I'm pretty excited. I think we're done. I think we've done the entire website using AI. Now before we have a look at the blog post, the way i done it is I basically just asked it and I'm really not going to lie, there was hardly any prompt here, so can you please write one for this category? I've given it quite a lot of free roam to what it writes, it writes what it wants. You can then, this is a very neat feature, just put the at sign and then you're talking to another GPT so you can then say, can you please make some pictures and thumbnails for this blog post? Essentially now what we have is if we go to our blog page, we now have three posts. Oh, I forgot to get rid of that one. We now should have three posts all in different categories all written in around 10 minutes you know it writes well doesn't it i mean it can write stuff that would sometimes take us hours with a bit of research and it does it in a few minutes so we now have our complete ai blog we have blog posts we have a very nice slick home page with all the buttons that are finally working that's not bad realistically i mean if i actually take out the time that i was just messing about or you know have to stop filming for a minute it, i mean what are we talking like three hours two three hours for an entire website now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing i suppose a bit of a social experiment here which we will actually come back to in a later video if we go to dashboard we go to analytics we can see that we have very simple analytics for this page it's telling us how many visitors we had how many page views and where the referrals are from which means we can now start to track how many people and where they've come from more importantly for instance if they're actually coming from google they're coming from bing DuckDuckGo, who is sending them because this is completely ai made and there's no lie about it we're not trying to hide it i mean we're clearly not trying to hide it and i suppose we can now find out to see whether google actually does really hate AI stuff or whether AI can write good enough for Google to like it. If you want to check it out, the page is live. You can go ahead, you can view it yourself. You can have a read, see what the AI is doing. I'm going to be posting on here as regularly as I can. And again, all AI written. It's all just going to be prompts. I'm not going to be prompting it too much. I'm sort of going to give it a bit of freedom. It's just going to be about the categories. Oof. That was a long one, a very interesting one, but a long video. So of course, as ever, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And coming up next, we have the top eight WordPress plugins that you can use for 2024. And I'm sure you're gonna be able to find some good ones on there. So we'll see you next time.